There's a lot at stake when it comes to transmission, more than only the flow of power from the lower Churchill. This project is a, it was a cornerstone of the energy plan. It's a cornerstone of our, our planning corporately moving forward. Uh, it has tremendous, tremendous implications in terms of paving the way for other projects. The transmission access that we secure with this project will be useful for, uh, for other developments in the future. And in addition, of course, if we look at our other energy resources, one important one being wind, uh, the ability to integrate uh, hydro generation with wind generation is a tremendous advantage that we'll be able to continue to develop into the future. Whatever transmission system is designed for the Lower Churchill, it can serve potential new energy developments. And the future of Newfoundland and Labrador as an energy powerhouse may hang in the balance. We're looking at transferring wealth to future generations. There's no better way to do it. Leave them with infrastructure and renewable resources. Then if you take a look at something like the Lower Churchill, and the Upper Churchill in 2041 uh, when it comes back to us. You look at if we have a strong wind regime in place uh, and we have the transmission issues dealt with, even though the oil and gas may be starting to fade at that point, maybe, we're in a situation though where we could have generations, a couple of generations from now, we could have a situation where we're probably using, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 megawatts of, of electricity and we may have 10 to 15,000 megawatts of electricity to export. And that's forever. And you look at the situation where, say we're in the five to 600,000 people range, uh, we could be sitting uh, as one of the wealthiest and best run jurisdictions in North America, if not the world, if we get it right now. It has to go ahead. It's, it's the best, cheapest, cleanest project in North America right now. It's ahead of La, La Romaine and other projects that are now being done in Quebec. It's ahead of wind projects. It's ahead of other comparable uh, renewable energy projects. It has to happen, and we're very far along. This is imminent, and you know, also, the province is in a position to self-finance. You know, we've taken the debt in this province from close to $12 billion down to at $1.7.9 billion. So we have some capacity to borrow. If, in fact, we have to put some money into the Lower Churchill in order to launch this, there is no better place to invest our money. It's an annuity, it runs forever, and it's gold.